I'm actually, I'm not really very much of a, a poet at all, but uh, I, I did write a poem once, which was actually crap, but the last lines of it were quite good, and they kind of summed up my experience, and, and the last lines of it were, I've been hetero and LGBT, I'm not that, I'm all that, I'm perfectly able to identify simply as me. And um, and, and that does kind of uh, sum up my experience, and, I, and I'll try and kind of clarify that a bit, because it can sometimes come across as a bit confusing to say you've been LGB, anti, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender, but I actually have, and man and women, I've, I have genuinely had all those experiences in my life. Um, I, I suppose probably a few of you, I would imagine, in this room, as um, a child, maybe had the label tomboy, and as a child, I did have that label as well. Um, I was called a, a tomboy as a child, and I think I was probably viewed as um, a, a masculine girl um, when I was young. And the thing is, that, that was probably kind of true, but also, the way I saw myself was, um, I had a view of myself as, as um, actually a, a feminine boy. But my biological sex, uh, being born female at birth, meant that I suppose the view of me was that I was a masculine girl. Um, anyway, in my, my teens and stuff, I, I, I kind of, um, I, 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 I played around with boys, you know, and, and actually in my early teenage years and stuff, I actually had sex with boys as well. And um, I was fine with that. I wasn't actually necessarily uncomfortable with my body. But um, as I, I grew older and started to develop and everything, the way people saw me was different from how I saw myself. And I think that that's been a big part of my story, is the way that I viewed myself has always been kind of different from how other people related to me. Um, and I, I, by the time I was 16, I actually came out as a, a lesbian, and I had a, a relationship for seven years with a woman. Um, a lesbian relationship with a woman for seven years, and she's a, a wonderful, wonderful person, um, and I'm still great friends with her to this day. We're no longer together anymore because I'm not a lesbian anymore. Um, although it's still part of me, it's, it's still part of my identity, but uh, well, things go apart. But um, also, I, I uh, identified when I was in my teens, I came out as bisexual as well, being aware at that time that I was. Um, Attracted to boys and girls in my teens, um, and in actual fact, I don't think it was really to do as conscious as that. It was much more to do with that. Um, it wasn't really necessarily to do with the gender of the person, but uh, just the person themselves and how uh, I felt about a person and how they they related to me was much more of what I found attractive rather than their actual gender at all. Um, when, when I was 25, I actually started a process of transition in order to be able to express my masculinity. And I wanted my chest back, the chest that I had in my childhood. I was quite disturbed in my, my teens when I grew tits, basically. Um, I, they, they didn't feel like my body. I didn't ever actually want um, a dick, basically. I didn't really want one. But in order to get testosterone and to get chest surgery, you have to convince psychiatrists that you've got gender identity disorder. <laughs> uh, actually, I, I, I really, I'm really opposed to that whole idea that there's such a thing as gender identity disorder. And in my, my view, society's got a problem with gender and I really try and force us into very rigid uh, roles of what a, a man should be like, what a woman should be like, who should put what where with whom. And that's the roots to me of heterosexism and homophobia and biphobia and transphobia. And it scunners me. But in order to get um, testosterone and chest surgery to make me feel comfortable physically with myself and be able to express my personality, um, I, I kind of had to conform to the psychiatrist's bullshit, basically. Um, they can understand that you can be a man and not have a penis, but there's no way that they can understand that you can be a man and not actually want to have a penis. Um, that's just way above their heads. Uh, so, anyway, I, I've been. So I, I've been taking testosterone for uh, about seven and a half years now, and I love, absolutely love the effect that it has on my body. And I had my chest done and stuff, and I actually feel like me. Um, 
But I, 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 understand, I now have, um, I don't know if any of you have heard of the Gender Recognition Act. I got, uh, I applied for gender recognition and because a psychiatrist once diagnosed me with gender identity disorder, I was able to get a new birth certificate that said I was male. So now I've got a birth certificate that says I'm male and I've also still kept my old one that says I'm female. And I've got a picture up there somewhere of me with both of them. And in actual fact, the both of them are completely inadequate. Um, I feel as though, from my experience, that um, male and female are not adequate. I'm a transgender man. I'm a transgender, a trans man. Something, I'm something, I don't know. I'm a man and a woman and LGBT and all of them. Um, and now I'm in a really amazing, beautiful relationship. Uh, we're, we're nearly kind of been together for six years with um, a man who identifies as a gay man. Um, and, and one of the things that most attracts me about him was that uh, he's, he's not so, he's, he's secure in himself, he's not so insecure in his identity that my fluid kind of, all the things that have been in my life are any kind of threat to his. They're not, he's a gay man. It doesn't mean to say that because he's with me that he's not, he is. And we've had that, my, I mean, people like my, my own dad said, well, he's not really a gay man then. And, He's going out with you, and why the hell did you get through all that if you're just going to get with a man after all that? You know, in the first place, <laughs> you know? And, 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 and just not understanding the differences between sex and gender and sexuality, and, you know, there's, I, I mean, I could rant and rave about that all night, but um, anyway, it's, it's a beautiful relationship, and I, I love him because of his, his, his security and, and who he is, and his, uh, the way he reacts towards me, and um, we just have fun as well. So thank you very much, that's me.